is overheating then today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to fix a car that overheats now many things can cause a car to overheat so start with the basics check the radiator fluid when it's cold take the radiator cap and look inside in this case it's bone dry so the next thing to do is to pressure test the system to check for leaks here's this pressure leak testing kit I've had for years and don't worry if you want to do it yourself hey you can buy these things used for 30 bucks and some of the new ones only cost about seventy dollars just hook it up to the radiator then pump up the pressure and in this case you can see it's leaking right out of the radiator the radiator is just full of holes now this case was pretty easy there was a hole in the radiator but if it was more complex you watch the pressure on the gauge and see if it starts to move down pump it up to like 16 pounds pressure or so and watch the gauge and if it starts dropping like this you know there's a leak and you have to find where the squirt is coming from but let's say you pressure tested it and there weren't any leaks at all what do you do next well realize that the radiator caps are supposed to hold pressure in so if they're worn and rusty like this one you might just need a new radiator cap now there are machines that test radiator caps but hey they're so cheap just go buy another one and stick it on now if that doesn't fix it the next thing to check is the cooling fans so start the car up and then turn the AC on to full blast and then check the cooling fans to see if they're working back here and in this case you can see the left fan and the right fan is turning if the fans aren't working there won't be enough air sucked through the radiator it'll overheat and when they don't work check the fan motors they often burn out to check to see if the motors burn out just get a little jumper wire and stick one end on the positive cable of the battery and stick the other end on the red cable that feeds the motor if the fan doesn't start spinning you'll know the motor is burned out but let's say the fans are working fine well then you might have a bad thermostat these thermostats close so the engine warms up and when it gets hot they're supposed to open up and sometimes they stick most thermostats are pretty easy to get to on this Toyota you just follow the bottom radiator hose and there's the thermostat housing back here it just has a bolt on the top and a bolt on the bottom you pull it out and replace the thermostat and then you better hope a new thermostat fixes your overheating problem because if it doesn't then you have one of two rather expensive problems either the radiator itself is just so old it can't dissipate heat anymore or the head gasket of the engine is starting to blow now these modern radiators that are made of plastic and aluminum often corrode inside and don't dissipate heat anymore they don't leak and they look perfectly fine but they just can't get rid of the heat this is a radiator that I just replaced on a car because it was overheating as you can see it looks perfectly fine but it was corroded inside and once I replaced it the car ran normal and as as expensive as some radiators may be you better hope the radiator fixes it because the only other thing can be a bad head gasket and in that case you have to tear the engine apart and that can cost well over a thousand dollars on most modern cars so before you tear an engine down it's a good idea to do a combustion leak test on it to make sure the head gasket is leaking it's a simple test where blue liquid is put into a tube and then the engine is run to see if the blue turns yellow if it does you've got a head gasket leak in this case the liquid stayed blue so the head gasket is fine so the next time your car starts overheating don't get mad Get under the hood and fix it. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this ride.